Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Today I'm going to have a little fun with a walkway to our front door. For this project, I'll be using a couple stencils. One that is Home Sweet Home by Folk Art, and the other one that says Welcome. You'll also need a power washer for this project. So the first thing I need to do is screw my hose into my faucet so that it's ready to be used. Next, I take the other end of the hose and I screw it into the power washer nice and tight. So both ends of my hose are now connected. Next, I need to unwind my power cord and plug it in. So for me, the big plug's not gonna fit in here, so I am gonna just plug an extension cord in here. So this happens to be an indoor-outdoor plug, and I am going to take this plug, and I'm going to just push those two together, and I should be set. So this is a nice vinyl stencil, so it will hold up to the water. Paper stencils won't work. And I'm gonna start by placing the stencil onto the ground. Now, you could use something simple like this and just do it in the center of your walkway, or you can use a design and go all the way across the entire length. It's really up to you. Next, I turn on the water so that it's flowing to my power washer. I'll be turning my power washer on and it will get quite loud, so I'll be doing that in a moment. So next you need to figure out how to make your stencil hold still. So you can stand on it while you're doing the project. Um, you could put bricks or rocks on it to hold the project, like something like this, but you're gonna need it to hold still while you're power washing it. So you can test whatever you like for that and tape most likely won't work because once it gets wet, tape won't stick. So I've got my stencil in place and now I'm gonna hold it still and I'm gonna go ahead and power wash away. Now, I carefully lift the stencil up and it reveals the stencil onto the cement. Now I'm gonna continue doing this to my front sidewalk. Now that you've seen how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the walkway. So one thing I wanna say about this whole process is the first one I spent a little more time on and then I realized I didn't need to. So the whole process actually got faster and faster the more I went. And it's quite an amazing and therapeutic thing to do. So you might be asking, how well does this stay? Well, as it dries, it kind of starts to become almost invisible. So you have a couple of options. One would be to wet your sidewalk back down and then it becomes very vivid like this again. The other option is once it dries, you will actually be able to see it. You just have to be patient and give it enough time to dry and then your stencil will shine through. As you can see here, some areas are a little stronger than others, but nonetheless, you can see it. Check out how fun this is and it's so easy. And this could be adapted to make a patio rug, your walkway, maybe on your porch patio. Just fun to create these designs. And think about the possibilities with all of our celebrations, whether it's birthdays or weddings or showers or any occasion, you could do this and create this lovely welcome to anyone coming in your home for that celebration. And I hope this inspires you to stencil some concrete of your own with this easy technique. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chastcrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.